cards, I want to share with you how we're going to laminate the tabs for our journal. So the journal we'll be working on is the, we call it the bell ringer, kind of like a quick start. Um, it is a personal growth journal. It's the one with the floral design on the front. It says discovering you. Okay. It is hole punch, so this should be in your cosmetology binder. And this will be good for the whole school year, whether you're virtual or you're at home. So with this one, it has um, some pages. It has the front, uh, the front cover, I guess, of the section. It has a tab, which I'm going to show you how to laminate. And then it continues as you go along. You have to find the, the title pages that have the little inserts so you can stick your tab on here. Okay. So this is kind of what it'll look like once you're all done. You have your tab, it's taped, it's laminated, it's colored, and then you have them all across the side. So when you're flipping through, one, it's easy to go to, but two, your tabs don't get messed up. There's a page that comes with all of your tabs on their own. So you just want to so you just want to look for that particular um, page that came with your journal. Okay. So I'm gonna put this section to the side here. So that way we can look at this one, which is our next section, our setting goals and resolutions. Okay. You really just need this one page. Okay. Each day when you come in, as I'm doing attendance or as I'm setting up or as students are setting up, whether virtually or in person. You have this particular um, page per se, today's Monday, so you'll work on this page for Monday. The next page that you'll work on will be the following one, obviously. So then this will be Tuesday. It's very self-explanatory. It's about a third grade reading level, maybe fourth grade, but it's very easy to understand. Okay, so it will be due at the end of each semester, first semester and second semester for a major project grade, so make sure you get that done. All right, so you have a page, put this to the side, with all of your uh, tabs, okay? So I went ahead and grabbed my setting goals tab, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and color my next tab. Now you can use colors or markers, matte pencils, highlighters, um, whatever you decide is fine to use for your coloring of your page, okay? Um, I just like to give it a little bit of color. It does uh, end up wet, so if you do grab it, grab it from the, the white side, okay? So I just use piece a piece of paper to just kind of color over and not worry about the edges. You can color it before cutting them out as well. I didn't worry too much about my corner edges here because I will take care of that after I laminate it. So after coloring all of my tabs, after I cut them all out, then I'm going to go ahead and begin my laminating process. So I'm going to take my little tab here. Now, um, I apologize for that bell ringing. Um, now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this particular um, big tape, the wide tape, and the small tape. That's what we're working with, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and take this here. I'm going to stretch it out, put my finger, middle finger and thumb, or pointer and thumb is fine. I'm going to take my tab, I'm going to turn my tab upside down, just so I don't have the ink that I'm rubbing on. I'm going to push my tab down, and then put my finger over the tab, but making sure that I don't stick to the tape, okay? Just so I don't get any air pockets. So then I'm going to come in, I'm going to cut and hold it in the middle where I'm not sticking to it and let go. Then I'm going to take another piece of tape, kind of eyeball measure it out, cut it out. Uh, tip, anytime you use scissors, I always have some scissors that I designate for cutting tape because after a while the tape, the sticky gets on the scissors and then it's really hard to open your scissors after a while. A little bit of acetone or polish remover will take care of that. All right, so I got my piece down, facing down. I'm going to take my second piece of tape, okay? I'm going to turn this around just a little bit if I can. I'm going to bend it in the middle, put my thumb down, and then I'm going to slide my fingers across, okay? Some pieces of sticky is fine, but my main goal is to get that middle part nice and smooth, okay? So then I'm done with my big tape. I'm going to take my scissors now, and I'm going to go ahead and cut along my edges, and I can leave it squared or I can round them out like it's supposed to be. 
however I choose or however you choose is fine. And then I'm done with my laminating. So this is just a way to use this technique to keep your tabs nice and fresh. So here you go. Now your tab is colored and it's laminated and it will last you a good while. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my setting goals page, my title page. And you, if you see you have a little U shape here, a little C shape depending on how you see it. I'm going to line this up here. Now I'm going to actually turn mine this way just because of the way I'm sitting and the way I'm going to position my tape. So I'm going to put it here. Okay. And then I'm going to take this small thin tape, go ahead and pull that out. And I'm going to tape this as close to the edge as I can. So that way it sticks nice and well. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just put my tape down and smooth it all the way to the bottom. If you want to do an extra piece of tape here, that's fine. If you want to use this big tape, that's okay too. But now I have my second and let me show you what it's looking like I have my second journal tab okay you can see it it's easy to go to you can see your sections when you grab it it's not flimsy like the paper so it will last you a long time this one I put the tape on the end so it's a little bit flimsy here on this one I put the tape more closer to the edge of the paper so it doesn't pop out as much so it just depends on how you want to do You can do double-sided tape as well, and you can also tape it from the back just to extra secure it, okay? So that is how you laminate your tabs, all right? So I just wanted to share that with you, and I hope that helps you out.